It is close to 6.20, and time now for What's Trending. Listen to this, guys. The timing couldn't possibly be worse for a tattoo that a Kentucky woman got at the beginning of the pandemic. Leah Holland wanted to get a tattoo inspired by some kind words from a friend. Holland says that she and her friend were talking about things that they admired about each other, and he told her, you courageously and radically refuse to wear a mask, simply meaning that she is undeniably herself, and so, hey, she thought that was a really poetic way of saying that. Well, after planning it for a couple of years, Holland got the tattoo on March 4th, 2020, just two days before Kentucky reported its first case of COVID-19. And so the words refuse to wear a mask, unfortunately and quickly took on a whole new meaning. Leah says it basically looked like she's completely anti-mask, which is not the case. And worried about how it looked, Holland said that she started covering her arms in public. But now over time, she's been able to laugh about it and even shared her tattoo story on TikTok this week, where it quickly went viral and gained national and international attention. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, uh, you just have to feel for her, right? I mean, especially something that's been in the making and in the works for a couple of years, you know. Um, I think any tattoo, um, people put a lot of time and energy into thinking about exactly what they want. And so uh, she finally, you know, pulled the trigger, went for that, and uh, oh my goodness, <laughs> very unfortunate. Yeah, and I like the meaning behind it too. Yes, you know, so it's it, a great sentiment. Yeah. It is, it is. Uh, just the worst timing possible, I guess. Um, you know, and, and it's funny that she actually is like taking the moment to, you know, encourage mask wearing and say that she's not against <laughs> it. But um, you know, definitely uh, a very interesting and timely story to say the least, yeah. for sure. Yeah, this is just a random case of just bad luck because there's no way anyone could have foreseen something like this happening like that, where you get, you get a tattoo that for a different meaning where you're basically just being yourself and then boom, taste on new me. I don't know. It's totally just no way you could have avoided that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Glad she has a good attitude about it, though. Right? And it's kind of funny yeah. that, you know, at times she wanted to cover it up. Well, right. the sheep in this next story is kind of having the opposite effect here. A wild sheep found in a forest in Australia named Ba Rock by rescuers <laughs> has yielded nice. a fleece, thank you, weighing more than 77 pounds. Check this out. The sheep was found by a member of the public who contacted the Edgar's Mission Farm Sanctuary near Lancefield, Victoria. It's about 37 miles north of Melbourne. Wow, the sheep was wow. severely underweight, uh, if you can believe it, and could barely see because of the thick matted fleece. One of the sanctuary workers said sheep need to be shorn at least annually, otherwise the fleece continues to grow and grow, as that, uh, that's exactly what happened here. And after his much needed shearing, workers say Ba Rock's fleece <laughs> weighed in at around 78.4 pounds. Wow. Barak is now settling in with other rescued sheep at Edgar's mission. Uh, and just watching the video of this is astounding. Uh, you know, it, it, the, the wool itself was, you know, in, much more sizable than the sheep itself. Um, but he looks a lot more comfortable. There he is after getting all of that taken off of him. <laughs> uh, and I, I, I got to wonder, how many coats or articles of clothing would you be able to make with just his... Uh, wool there. Right, that, with 78 crazy. pounds of it. Yeah, oh, he looks so much happier now. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, how interesting too, though, that underneath it all, he, he was on the skinnier side. Right. And I also, though, have to wonder um, just how he was doing that um, in Australia, of all places, right. you know, a place that has a much warmer climate. Yeah, now, now this almost kind of reminds me back when the pandemic was going on, all the haircut places were closed. My hair was going out <laughs> like crazy, and it was driving me crazy too. So maybe not as extreme as Bar Rock, but uh, yeah, it was it was driving me nuts too. I know I felt a lot better when I got my haircut finally, and probably yep. the same for <laughs> Bar Rock too. So way too funny. So from something that's a little bit funny and more relieving to something that will make you go awe in this situation. In our area, we're used to playing in the snow, but many others may have never even seen the white stuff. So watch this, a 79 year old man ma made a snow angel for the very first time. The native Californian now lives in Oklahoma and never had seen this amount of snow. Caretakers at his assisted living facility helped make this frosty first a reality, helping him out of his wheelchair and into the snow, proving there are no age limits on snow angels. And how cute is this? I mean, yeah, there's definitely no definition. I mean, some days may need just a little bit of a helping hand, but you know what? 
It's so big. If you can do it, do it. It's fun. The snow is fun. Yes, he's clearly enjoying himself, and he makes a really good one. That's yes. that's a fantastic looking snow angel. Great and uh, yeah, and I love too. Just obviously, you know, the caretakers at his facility are are willing to go above and beyond and uh, and do anything for their residents. So uh, speaks a lot to them. And and I'm I'm glad that he was up for it. Right. Uh, that's just awesome. It is so great. I love just watching them kind of gently lower him into the snow, uh, right in his element there. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's. I can only imagine what is going through his head as someone who's never seen that much snow. Um, you know, we're, we're all used to it at this point, um, but it's just so amazing to, to show that it's an activity so so simple as that can really uh, bring all these uh, just childlike emotions out of yeah, us. Yeah, so That's much awesome. joy. Mm -hmm.